I picked today because there's almost nobody on the streets and I don't want to be too close to people so Sunday is a perfect day to come. McAllen, Texas, with a population of 144,279. Since I was already in Mission, Texas, and this place was close by, right here in the valley, I decided to pay it a visit. I decided to come on a Sunday when I absolutely knew no one would be around. That way I have the free comfort and space in order to skate the streets and not have an issue. I am currently skating down South Main Street. Most of these stores look like they're not even open yet. So it looks like I found my first back alley to skate down. It actually wasn't as rough as some alleys that I've been in the past just slightly rougher than the main streets. A lot of grit and gravel on the ground. Didn't pose an issue. So back on South Main Street, I would say that this street is really relatively smooth. Quite perfect for inline skating if you ask me. So the temperature is 102 degrees Fahrenheit today. Even though that may not sound like a lot, anything in the triple digits with humidity, there's only so much you can take before you have to take a drink of water or a break. This is why I carry the Camelback. The little backpack, the bladder in it that carries water, this helps me out a lot and it's very important for me to have. Sometimes you just want to do more and you want to go faster and stronger, but your legs feel heavy and you feel like almost lazy. So this is a sign that you're a little heat exhausted and you need to take a little bit of a break. McAllen, Texas is really not that far from Mexico. I would say roughly about 20 minutes. Even the sidewalks over here are in pretty good shape. Not bad at all. Yep, total ghost town here on Sunday. Nobody around. Not even traffic. An inline skater's dream.
I'm gonna go this way. I think I'm heading towards 10th Street right now. Inline skating on familiar streets can be somewhat dangerous. So you kind of have to have a good sense of where you're going, or at least have an objective when you get there. So here is 10th Street. The reason why you don't want to just rush into something and just start skating full throttle anywhere you go is because you are unaware of the surfaces that you are about to skate, the cracks, and sometimes you can be a bit nervous when you first get to a certain area and this can present problems. Maybe you can be overconfident. I just try to display somewhat of a balance when I go out and skate. I think this is Pet Boys on my left right here. Check that out. I'm starting to notice that cactuses really do grow wild here. They grow wild in Houston where I live too. But this is about a six hour difference from where I live. A lot more humid than where I live too. Here is like the only building. <laughs> There's actually two, but this is the Chase building. So that's as much of a downtown you're going to see here in McKellen. There may be others, but I haven't seen them yet. Hmm, that name is familiar. So I'm skating now down Business 83. This is a long stretch of asphalt road. I was a little bit disappointed that there was not like a main sidewalk on the left hand side where it's along the palm trees and you can just skate like a bike trail or some, something like that. But this will do. I didn't mind this at all. There was a good shoulder I could skate in. I'm always finding money on the streets over here. Pesos. Now this right here just totally explains the whole reason why I love inline skating. I actually didn't see the speed bump until about right there. So I almost messed up and fell. So with wheels you can roll when you want to and you can run when you want to. Did I just come across a bike trail? Looks pretty nice. Bike route. <laughs> I wonder where this bike trail goes. It looks very nice actually. All the beautiful trees along the side of it. Nobody on it. One thing about bike trails is you can really just sprint as hard and as fast as you want to. The 
There's a water fountain over there. Oh, this is a part of the bike trail I really like, actually. Even the bushes on the side here on the left, they look pretty. I think it's always nice when a bike trail has some scenery to it. This is actually one of the nicer ones I've been on so far. It has a good amount of shade too, so it's not that bad. So I was going down the bike trail and I've noticed towards the end, if you look straight ahead, it leads to a freeway. And here it is now. I thought it dead end, but no, actually it does like a little U-turn. I hate it when bike trails just dead end out of the middle of nowhere. You can tell it kind of floods over here a little bit because there is some mud still on the uh, concrete. So there is a freeway actually that it connects to from here. All I have to do is make a left and go over the bridge. There is the bridge right behind me. I'm going to go that way. So I skipped to the top of the bridge. I didn't want to show you me struggling trying to get up the bridge. So instead I'm going to show you how I get down it. Which I think is more fun anyway. Well at least for a video. I pick up quite a bit of speed here. Maybe 20. 30 miles per hour. I kind of didn't expect to see all this dirt and sand at the bottom, so it did kind of scare me a little bit. It doesn't even matter how fast you go. If you hit the sand just right, you're going to fly forward. This wall on my right, which is your left, is what is containing all the water on the opposite side where the nice scenery was. So right now, I'm maybe about 20, 30 feet away from the actual bike trail, which is running parallel. I've been skating for about two hours now, and I'm very tired, so I'm heading back.
Not as hot today. <sighs> Felt pretty good today. I hope you got a little bit of a tour of McAllen. Shopping centers, bike trails, and business 83. That's pretty much what I filmed. Thank you for watching.